So we have a problem. Right now, somewhere in the icy wilderness of Patagonia, something ancient is stirring. Not wildfire, not explorers. No, this. A sleeping giant, one of hundreds, is being awoken by climate change. We all know the glaciers are melting. We see it on our screens, we see it on the news. But what most people don't realize is this isn't just a problem of raising sea levels. It's also messing with the Earth's crust. That is apparently a big problem. You see, ice sheets don't just sit on land, they push it down, thousands of meters thick. They exert massive pressure in what geologists called glacial loading. That pressure suppresses the movement of magma. Think of it like placing a heavy lid on boiling water. The contents are hot, active, but trapped. Now fast forward to our present warming world. As glaciers retreat, that pressure is lifted. This process is called glacial isostatic adjustment. And what happens when you lift the lid off that pot? Well, the magma decompresses, gases expand, pressure builds, and boom. Volcanic eruptions become way more likely. A recent study in Chile looked at six volcanoes that were once under the Patagonia ice sheet. And they found that once the glaciers disappeared, so we're talking about 17,000 years ago, volcanic activity didn't just resume, it got worse. Eruptions became more frequent and more explosive. See, when magma rises too quickly, such as when glaciers are lifted and we have that glacial unloading, the gases in the magma don't have enough time to equalize, so they release all these volatiles like water vapor and carbon dioxide. This leads to an overpressurized magma chamber, which then bursts out not with some gentle lava flows, it's a Plinian style eruption. Columns of ash reach the stratosphere, pyroclastic flows, the works. And this doesn't just apply to Patagonia. Scientists have mapped 245 volcanoes worldwide that lie beneath or beside glaciers, many of them in Antarctica. And while these changes happen over decades and centuries, they're already in motion. We're talking about a potential feedback loop Ice melts, volcanoes erupt, those eruptions release more CO2 and aerosols, which can in turn heat or cool the planet depending on the scale. Glacial melting is a visible crisis, but deep underground is triggering invisible consequences. We're not just changing our atmosphere, we're changing the very tectonic behavior of our planet. This is Earth's deep time, accelerated by us and the planet, well, is responding. To learn more, check the full study in the link in my bio and follow me to stay up to date with more Earth science.